Hello guys, you're welcome to today's lesson. We'll be looking at pre-vocational studies, paper one, agriculture. Don't you forget, this is 2025 basic education certificate examination. Now let's go straight to paper one, which is agriculture. The very first question here says, agriculture is best defined as the A, cultivation of fiber crops on inherited farmland. B. Cultivation of food crops to satisfy basic needs of man. C. Processing of natural food produced for consumption. D. Rearing of farm animals by poor people in rural areas. E. Signs of farming to satisfy human needs. So the correct answer is option E. Agriculture is broadly the science and art of farming including the cultivation of crops and the rearing of animals to satisfy human needs. So the right answer is E. Question 2. The practice of rearing bees in wo wooden buses is A. Apiculture, B. Aquaculture, C. Heliculture, D. Olericulture, E. Silviculture. The correct answer is apiculture, which is option A. Apiculture refers to beekeeping or the rearing of bees, usually for honey and other products. Wounding bosses are commonly used for that. Question number three. An agricultural activity commonly practiced in coastal areas is A. Bee rearing, B. Crop farming, C. Fish farming, D. Nomadic farming, E. Snail rearing. The correct answer is fish farming, which is option C. Question number four. Use figure 1.1 to answer questions four and five. Question four. The crop is described as a perennial crop because it A, possesses a long taproot, B, possesses a tall wooden shot, C, produces floral parts in groups of four, D. Produces two seed leaves at germination. E. Survives harsh field condition for many years. The correct answer is E. Is a perennial crop because it survives harsh field conditions for many years. Perennial crops live for multiple years and keep producing, surviving various environmental challenges over time. Question number five says, The fruits on the crop serve as raw material for A. Beverage industries, B. Breweries, C. Cigarette industries, D. Generis, E. Tanning industries. The correct answer is A. Beverage industries. Question number six. The question says the following are spices except one of them A. Carrot, B. Garlic. C. Ginger, D. Onion, E. Pepper. Carrot is not a spice. Carrot is a vegetable. Garlic, ginger, onion, and pepper are common spices. Question 7. Bones and blood of farm animals are mainly used to manufacture A. Clothes, B. Feet, C. Fertilizers, D. Ornament, E. Varnishes. The correct answer is fertilizers, which is option C. Bone meal and blood meal are processed into fertilizers due to their rich nutrient content. Use figure 1.2 to answer questions 8 and 9. Question 8. A byproduct gotten from the animal is A. 4. B. Hide. C. Honey. D. On. E. Milk. The correct answer is option A, which is 4. The animal in the figure is a rabbit, and rabbits are commonly used, your byproducts are commonly used for 4. Question number 9 says, the physical future of the animal that differentiates its females from the males is the Possession of prominent A, claws, B, ears, C, falls, D, teeth, D, E, whiskers, 
the correct answer is option D. Question number 10. Which of the following plants would be cleared from a farm by laborers as a weed? A. Cassava, B. Maize, C. Mokuna, D. Okra, E. Yam. The right answer is Mokuna, which is option C. Why did I pick that? Another name for Mokuna is Vevet Bean. It can grow aggressively and can be considered a weed if not controlled. Question 11. Post-emergence herbicides are usually applied A. After germination B. After harvesting C. Before site selection D. During land preparation E. During planting The correct answer is after germination, which is option A. Post-emergence herbicides target weeds that have already sprouted above the soil. Question 12. Weeds are beneficial in crop farms because they A, are alternative hosts to pests, B, are used as mulching materials, C, compete with crop for space, D, increase cost of production, E, reduce availability of soil nutrients. The correct answer is B, are used as mulching materials. Weeds can be cut and used as mulch, which helps retain soil moisture and control other weeds. Question number 13. This question says, which of the following pests causes damage to crops by injecting toxic substance into them? A. Army worms. B. Cocoa myriads. C. Cutting stainers. D. Leaf beetles. E. Weaver beds. The correct answer is cocoa myriads. Okay, the damage caused by injecting toxic saliva into the plant tissues causing you know, lesions. Use figure 1.3 to answer questions 14 and 15. Question 14 says, the insect pest is A slash an A, aphid, B, B2, C, grasshopper, D, myriad, E, weevil. The correct answer is weevil, which is option E. Question 15 says, the pest can be controlled in a farm store by A, applying insecticide, B, fumigating the surroundings, C, hand picking yearly, D, setting traps, E, shooting with catapults. The correct answer is just to apply insecticide, which is option A. Weevils and other storage pests can be controlled by applying insecticides in the farm store. Question 16. Fixed assets used in farm production are classified as A. Capital B. Interest C. Labor D. Land E. Stock The correct answer is land, which is option D. Fixed assets include land, buildings and equipment used over the long time term in production. Question 17. The factor that determines the success of a production process in a farm enterprise is A. Farm input, B. Fixed asset, C. Labor, D. Land, E. Management. The correct answer is option E, which is management. Good management practices are crucial for the success of farm production. Question 18. Figure 1.4 illustrates a well-planned farmland of Thai pineapple plantation. Calculate the area of the plantation in hectares. What we have is a trapezium. Formula for calculating area of a trapezium is A plus B plus bracket H divided by what? 2. Now this is A, this is B, and of course this is H. So area is equal to, let's impute the formulas, A is 300, B is 500, and the height is what? 150. 
now divide by 2. Area is equal to 800 times 150 divided by 2. 2 year 1, 2 into 800 is 400. So, area is equal to 400 times 150. That will give us 60,000. So, the area is 60,000 square meters. But the instruction says your answer should be in what hectares. One hectare, one hitch, is equal to 10,000 square meters. So to convert to hectares, you simply divide 60,000 by 10,000. 1, 2, 3, 4 cancels. 1, 2, 3, 4. The answer is 6 hectares, which is option C. Question 19. Use figure 1.5 below to answer questions 19 and 20. The farm structure is called A, Ban, B, Creep, C, Rhombus, D, Silo, E, Warehouse. Is a silo which is option D. Question 20. The structure is used to store A. Cotton, lint, B. Potato, C. Vegetable, D. Wheat, E. Yam tuber. The correct answer is wheat, which is option D. Question 21. The following considerations should be taken when erecting a standard poultry house except one of them. So I'm going to go up. Uh, uh. A. Constructing foot dips at the entrances. B. Constructing ray guides at the four corners. C. Putting wire net between walls and roofs. D. Using asbestos sheets to roof the house. E. Using concrete to floor the entire house. The correct answer is D. Using asbestos sheets to roof the house. Asbestos is harmful to health and is not recommended for any construction due to its, you know, properties. That is why D is the right answer. Question 22. The major reason for partitioning animal houses into pens is to A. Allow for proper ventilation B. Avoid loss of animals C. Prevent wastage of feeds D. Protect farmers from attack E. Reduce spread of diseases The correct answer is option E. Reduce spread of diseases Pens help in isolating sick animals and controlling the spread of contagious diseases Question 23. To ensure successful grafting of crops, a farmer should A. Cut deep into the cambium of stock and shun. B. Graft a small shun to a big stock of plants. C. Maintain the side shots below the connection. D. Select shun and stock from different families. E. Tie a tape around the point of union. The correct answer is option E. Tie a tape around the point of union. Question 24. If a farmer planted 1,000 seeds of okra, but only 750 seeds germinated, what is the percentage rate of germination? We were told that the planted seeds, let it be Px planted seed, is equal to 1,000. G germinated 750. Germination rate is simply 750 out of 1000 times 100%. 1, 2, 3 cancels. 1, 2, 3. So we are left with what? 75%, which is option D. 
Question 25 says, figure 1.6 is a longitudinal section of a crop. Use it to answer questions 25 and 26. Question 25, the crop is propagated by the use of A, bulb, B, corn, C, rhizome, D, stem, E, sucker. The correct answer is bulb, which is A. Now, the figure shows a bulb, which is a modified underground stem used for vegetative propagation in crops like onions and garlic. Question 26 says, a new plant comes out from the part labeled what? The right answer is option E, which is B. Part B represents the root base plate from where new sh um, shots emerge to grow into a new plant. Question 27. Which of the following farm tools can be used to carry out stomping operation? A. Garden fork. B. Hand fork. C. Hand trowel. D. Mallet. E. Mattock. The correct answer is Mattock, which is option E. Question 28. The farm operation carried out on harvested maize grains by a farmer in order to ensure optimal storage is referred to as A. Packaging. B. Preservation. C. Produce assemblage. D. Produce sorting. E. Seed treatment. The correct answer is seed treatment, which is option E. Seed treatment helps in preserving seeds and protecting them from pests, diseases, and poor storage conditions. Question 29. Which of the following farming practices encourages soil degradation? A. Bush burning. B. Cover cropping. C. Erosion control. D. Fertilizer application. E. Fungicide application. The correct answer is bush burning, which is option A. Bush burning destroys organic matter and microorganisms in the soil, leading to soil degradation. Question 30. The removal of ox from rice grain during processing is called what? The correct answer is hauling, which is option A. Thank you very much. This is how much we can take for today's lesson. Don't forget that we treated pre-vocational studies, paper 1, agriculture. However, agriculture has questions 1 to 60. So for this lesson, we've looked at the first 30 questions. In the next lesson, we are going to complete agriculture by looking at questions 31 to 60. Don't you forget to share these videos, like and subscribe. See you in the next class.